Ludgate Hill come the men of the British Legion to head the Lord Mayor's show. The biggest since 1938 and the second since the war. And best of all, for the thousands watching, the sun shone on it all. The theme of the brilliant parade was the country comes to town. To the rationed to three pounds a week British people, potatoes were the most eagerly looked for showpiece. In the wake of the farmer's tableau came the services, led by the band of the Royal Marines. And at the end of the procession, there was the 200-year-old gilded state coach. Inside was Sir Frederick Wells, London's 625th Lord Mayor. As the parade threaded its way along the city streets, the cheering crowd thickened. Thousands of children lost a day at school. As compensation, they saw an instructive parade of the progress of British agriculture. Exhibits of rationed foodstuffs were prominently featured and in seemingly great quantities. At the law courts, a halt was called for the new Lord Mayor to be sworn in. He takes over an office that dates back to 1191. On the steps of the building, the aldermen and company wardens wait to greet London's chief citizen. Attended by the pikesmen in their gleaming breastplates and helmets, Sir Frederick Wells walks up to be elected. In this November week, the people had shared in a colourful page of history. <laughs> 